How Amish keep sellers at 34 degrees Fahrenheit without electricity. It's the middle of July. The air outside is thick, heavy with heat. The sun beats down, relentless. In most homes, refrigerators hum in the background, working tirelessly to keep food fresh. But deep in Amish country, things are different. There's no electricity, no buzzing appliances. And yet, down below the earth, in the cool darkness of a root cellar, the temperature hovers near 34 degrees Fahrenheit, without a single watt of power. Sounds impossible? It's not. The Amish have mastered a way of keeping food fresh for months, even years, using nothing but nature, knowledge, and patience. Their methods aren't new. They're ancient, passed down for generations. And they work. The underground secret. If you want to keep food fresh without a refrigerator, you need to think underground. That's the Amish way. They don't rely on technology. Instead, they use Earth's natural cooling power. A properly built root cellar isn't just a hole in the ground. It's a carefully planned, well-designed, perfectly balanced storage system. The deeper you go, the more stable the temperature. The thicker the walls, the better the insulation. The smarter the ventilation, the fresher the air. It's not just about keeping things cold. It's about controlling humidity, airflow, and seasonal shifts. The Amish understand this better than anyone. Choosing the right spot. Location matters. A bad cellar is just a damp, musty pit. A good cellar? It's a natural fridge. The Amish don't build them just anywhere. They think about everything, position, soil type, shade. Hillsides are ideal. The earth's slope helps regulate temperature. Avoiding low areas. Too much water? Bad for storage. Facing north, less direct sunlight means cooler conditions. Depth is key too. Go at least 10 feet down, sometimes deeper. At this depth, the ground stays at a consistent 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But 50 degrees Fahrenheit isn't enough. The Amish want colder, much colder. So, they take it further. Insulation, more than just dirt. Think of a refrigerator. It has thick walls, insulation, a sealed door. A root cellar? Same concept, except no plastic, no electricity, no mechanical parts. Just smart design. The Amish use several layers to trap the cold. Earth. The deeper, the better. Thick soil acts like a thermal blanket. Straw bales. These are packed along walls for extra insulation. Sawdust. Used to cover stored ice blocks keeping them from melting. Stone or brick walls. Heavy materials hold cold longer than wood. These layers slow temperature changes, keeping the inside cool even as the seasons change above ground. Ventilation, controlling the airflow. Cool air sinks. Warm air rises. That's basic physics. The Amish use this to their advantage. Their cellars have two vent pipes. One near the ceiling, Let's warm air escape. One near the floor draws cool air in. This natural air cycle keeps temperatures low and prevents moisture buildup. Because here's the thing, moisture is the enemy. Too much. Food rots. Too little. Things dry out. The Amish keep their ventilation just right, allowing fresh air in without letting in too much heat. Some cellars even have gravel or dirt floors. This absorbs excess moisture, preventing mold, and keeping humidity levels perfect for storage. The Amish Ice Harvest, Nature's Freezer. Here's where things get interesting. Ventilation, insulation, and depth can get a cellar down to 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But 34 degrees Fahrenheit? That requires something extra. Ice. In the dead of winter, when lakes and ponds freeze solid, Amish families cut massive ice blocks and haul them to their cellars. It's a community effort. Neighbors come together, cutting, lifting, stacking. The blocks are huge, sometimes weighing hundreds of pounds. They pack the ice in layers of sawdust or straw, which insulates it, slowing the melt. Stored properly, 
These ice blocks last for months, keeping the cellar near freezing well into summer. Imagine that. It's July. Outside, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Humid. Miserable. But in an Amish cellar? Cool air, fresh produce, meat stored safely. No electricity. Just time, effort, and nature's own refrigeration system. Humidity control. The final key. Ever left an apple in the fridge too long? It shrivels up, loses its crunch. That's too little humidity. On the flip side, ever seen a potato sprout and get mushy? Too much humidity. The Amish no balance. Dirt floors hold moisture, preventing food from drying out. Buckets of water can be added to increase humidity when needed. Proper air circulation stops mold from growing. Each type of food needs different conditions. Potatoes like high humidity. Onions? Low humidity. The Amish arrange their storage strategically, keeping foods in their ideal environments. The result? Food storage that lasts for months. This isn't a short-term fix. Amish root cellars are built to store food for an entire year. Apples stay crisp for six-plus months. Carrots and beets last all winter. Cabbages and squash. They keep for months. Meat, dairy, and eggs? Kept cool with ice, lasting much longer. It's a system that works. Has worked for hundreds of years. Long before electricity. Long before modern refrigeration. And it still works today. Bringing Amish wisdom into the modern world. So, is this knowledge just for the Amish? Not all. More people, city dwellers, suburban families, off-grid homesteaders are beginning to see the value in old-school food preservation. It's not just about nostalgia. It's about practicality, resilience, and cost-saving. Think about it. Grocery prices keep rising. A well-stocked root cellar means you don't have to buy fresh produce every week. Power outages are becoming more common. No electricity? No problem. Your food stays fresh. Preparedness matters. When you rely less on technology, you rely more on your own knowledge and skills. How to build your own Amish-style root cellar. Now, you might be wondering, how do you actually build one? The Amish have spent generations perfecting the craft, but the good news is you can replicate their methods with the right approach. Step 1. Choose the location. Not every piece of land is ideal for a root cellar. You need a cool, shaded area with good drainage. The Amish prefer hillsides because the natural slope makes it easier to control temperature and moisture. If you don't have a hill, you can still dig deep, just make sure to insulate well. Step 2. Dig deep, at least 10 feet. The deeper you go, the more stable the temperature. Amish cellars typically go at least 10 feet down, ensuring a consistent cool environment year-round. If you live in an area with a high water table, you'll need to take extra precautions against moisture buildup. Step 3. Build thick walls for insulation. The Amish don't just rely on soil. They reinforce their cellars with stone, brick, or concrete to trap the cold. Some even use wooden shells packed with sawdust to keep stored food at the perfect temperature. The thicker the walls, the less the outside weather affects the inside. Step 4. Create a natural ventilation system. This part is crucial. Without ventilation, the cellar will become stuffy, damp, and prone to mold. Just like the Amish, you need two vents. One near the floor to draw in cool air. One near the ceiling to let out warm air. This constant airflow prevents food spoilage while maintaining the right humidity levels. Step 5. Use ice blocks for extra cooling. If you live in an area with harsh winters, take a page from the Amish playbook. Harvesting large ice blocks from a frozen pond and storing them in sawdust can keep a root cellar at near freezing temperatures for months. Even if you can't harvest ice, you can use modern alternatives like insulated water jugs, or frozen containers. Step six, organize food for maximum freshness. Not all foods need the same conditions. The Amish separate their cellar into different zones. High humidity section, potatoes, carrots, beets, turnips, 
Low humidity section, onions, garlic, winter squash. Coldest section, dairy, meats, eggs, kept near the ice blocks. This careful organization ensures food lasts as long as possible without spoiling. How long can food last in a root cellar? A well-maintained Amish root cellar can keep food fresh for months, even years. Potatoes and carrots, up to eight months. Onions and garlic, six plus months. Apples, six to 12 months. Cabbage and squash, three to six months. Home-cured meats, with proper storage up to a year. Compare that to a refrigerator, where many fresh foods spoil in just a couple of weeks. The Amish have figured out long-term food security without relying on modern technology. The modern revival of Amish food preservation. You don't have to live like the Amish to benefit from their knowledge. Across the world, people are rethinking how they store food, how they save money, and how they prepare for the unexpected. In cities, people are creating underground cold rooms. In the suburbs, homeowners are digging backyard cellars. On farms, families are returning to traditional preservation methods. Why? Because the old ways still work. And in many cases, they work better than modern methods. Why this matters today? Most people don't think about food storage. They trust grocery stores, refrigerators, freezers. But what if the power goes out? What if prices skyrocket? What if you just want to be more self-sufficient? The Amish way proves that modern technology isn't the only answer. There are older, smarter ways. Ways that are sustainable, reliable, and cost nothing once built. More and more people are rediscovering these methods. Homesteaders, off-grid enthusiasts, survivalists. Even those who just want a backup plan. Because in the end, knowing how to keep food fresh without electricity isn't just old-fashioned wisdom. It's essential knowledge. Final thoughts. The Amish don't just survive without modern conveniences. They thrive. They're root cellars, not just a relic of the past. They're a blueprint for the future. A way to store food, cut costs, and live more in tune with nature. And the best part? Anyone can do it. With the right planning, some digging, and a little patience, you can build a root cellar too. Keep food fresh. Save money. Become more self-sufficient. Just like the Amish have been doing for generations. No electricity. No fancy gadgets. Just earth, air, ice, and time.